In other news tonight, we're learning more from Bryan ISD leadership about the budget challenges they face as they prepare for the 2024-25 school year. They recently sent a letter to parents about their plans to protect student programs and staffing. Donnie Tuggle is outside district headquarters tonight where he sat down with the superintendent. Bryan ISD, like many districts in the state, are struggling to make ends meet. The superintendent tells me their goal is to balance the budget with the fewest impacts to students and staff. I sat down with Bryan ISD Superintendent Ginger Carabine today where we discussed the ongoing conversations happening in many public schools in Texas due to what many see as legislative inaction. In an email to parents, she detailed the district's challenges which encompass record inflation, the end of federal COVID relief money, and the lack of a per student funding increase from state lawmakers since 2019. Despite these obstacles, she says all student programs would continue and staff members would retain their positions. I knew it was very important to have buy-in. So uh, we have figured out some ways to honor the integrity with curriculum and instruction and to honor our workforce to continue to attract top talent and to retain our teachers and our staff in particular and to even consider options for possible compensation. I also asked the superintendent about her hopes for the upcoming legislative session. I'll have more on that tonight on News 3 at 10. Reporting in Bryan, Donnie Tuggle, News 3. George